Today, I'm gonna to take you through a 30 minute, no repeat barbell workout. You can do this as a follow along with me. All you need is a barbell and some plates for this workout. We're gonna kick things off with a warm up using your body weight and an empty or very light bar. Then we've got four main strength sections doing 30 seconds on with 30 seconds rest. There's also some longer rest intervals in between those so that you can change the weight on the bar. Let's get started with that warm up. So we're gonna start things off with a no repeat warm up. So if you pick your bar up, we're gonna do five exercises with the bar, just getting your body ready for some of those bigger lifts. And then we're gonna do five body weight exercises. The first one is gonna be a push press. So you wanna bring the bar up, you're gonna hold it as close to your collarbone as you can, with your elbows underneath the bar and straight wrists. And we're gonna go in three, two, one, little leg drive up and overhead and repeat. Try and finish with the bar directly above your head. And get the bar moving with that leg drive. We're not looking to tire you out here. We're just looking to warm you up. So we're going to link these without any breaks in the warm up. So next up, we're going to go into a Romanian deadlift. Get those hamstrings moving, bringing the bar down. So hinging at the hip. Keep the bar nice and close to your body. Keep a flat back. Imagine someone's pulling your hips backwards, folding you in half. You're keeping your lats engaged. The bar should almost touch your shins at the bottom position. Okay, bring it back up to that front rack position. You're gonna twist one arm round and then the other one. So I'm gonna grip the bar, I'm gonna turn the elbow up and under the bar whilst loosely holding in the other one. So one's gonna grip and twist whilst the other one just allows the bar to rotate. This is a great one for some front rack mobility, warming the shoulders and wrists up. Bring that onto your back. You're gonna do a pause back squat. So down, one, two, and back up. Down, one, two, and back up. Try and keep your chest relatively upright without overarching your lower back. Keep the knees apart. You never want the knee to be collapsing in like that. You're gonna keep them out. Finish the rep, push press the bar overhead, bring your grip a bit narrower, and we're gonna go for these overhead marches. So trying to bring the knee above hip height. It's good to get the hips warm and a, a little bit of shoulder stability as well. This is the final of our barbell warm up. We're just going body weight next. And we're gonna go to some reverse lunge and twists. So you're gonna do a backwards lunge, twist over the front leg and repeat. So we're gonna alternate backwards steps, twisting over the front leg, away from the back leg. Next, we've got the shoulders moving, doing some arm circles. Finish the rep. Okay, circling forwards, nice big circles. It's a simple one, but works well for warming the shoulder joint up. And let's take it in reverse now. You get the hamstrings and shoulders involved. We're gonna do some inchworms. So hinge at the hip reach to the floor, walk it out, walk it in so you can touch your toes and then back to the top and repeat. I'm going to do it on my knuckles, but you can do it on the flats of your palms. That's absolutely fine. Okay, 
want to stand in this wide position, do some side to side lunges, getting the adductors stretched out. Keep this knee turned out. Sitting the hips back a little bit, but keeping a relatively upright posture. Final one, you're gonna lie on your back, arms out to the sides, knees up, you're gonna do some wipers. So you're doing side to side drops, trying to keep your opposite shoulder on the floor the whole time. Good little lower back warm up. All right, so that's it for the warm up. We're gonna go into our first strength section. I'm gonna load 55 pounds, no, 55 kilos. That's 121 pounds onto the bar. We're gonna be doing 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. Use whatever weight is right for you. So 55 kilos for me, 121 pounds. My maths is right. I'm going to start off with a floor press. You need to pause the video if you're not ready in time. That's absolutely fine. Just do that. Elbows touch the floor, press to the top, slowly down. Once you make contact, go straight into the next rep. All right. So we've got 30 seconds off now. Next up, we've got a pendley row. So a pendley row is like a bent over row. You're going to start with the barbell and finish with the barbell on the floor. You want to pull up till the bar makes contact with your upper ribs in a straight line. Keep a nice solid back position. 30 second interval, then we'll move on to the next one. Always finish your rep, even if the time has gone. So next up, we're gonna go sumo deadlift. So you're gonna have sumo width stance. So that's wider than shoulder width. Feet turned out at about 45 degrees. Get the bar above your shoelaces or the tongues of your shoe. Take the grip on the inside. Reset that back position every rep. Or if you prefer touch and go, that's fine as well. Okay, onto the floor now. Going back to that floor press. But this time, we're gonna do a decline floor press. I'm gonna do that by popping up into a glute ridge position. So you're gonna pop the hips up, hold this high glute ridge whilst you're doing your press. 
you can go for a slightly wider hand angle, hand width than you had before. Just stay up in that glute bridge, creating a slight decline to the press. Elbows meet the floor. feel the glutes still firing up a bit there after the sumos okay last one in this first heavy five we're just doing a conventional deadlift so a conventional deadlift is going to feet a lot narrower so hip width apart no turn out this time hands just on the outside of your knees bar starts over the shoelaces I like a little reset before each rep. Keep my back in a nice position. So we've got a 60 second break to lower the weight. I'm gonna go down to 45 kilos. That's 99 pounds. But again, just pick whatever weight is right for you. I'm gonna have five new exercises with this lighter weight starting with a hang clean. And then after those five, we do the same again. We're gonna lower the weight, give you five more exercises, lower the weight, and then finish with a final five. So it's not about doing loads of reps. Maybe if you've got great technique, feel free, but take your time getting it right. And then we're just gonna Come back down to just below knee level. Great job. If you've seen my previous videos, last time I did that, I knocked my microphone off, so I managed to keep it on this time. You are gonna to need to get the bar onto your back now. This is where a squat rack can be useful, but we're gonna do a back squat. So I'm gonna push press it over, plant it on my back. You don't want it on your neck, but on that meaty part of your traps. Slowly down. Breathe in, brace. You can release when you're back at the top. Knees out. And don't excessively tuck your tailbone. Hardest bit's getting the bar back over. Like I said, if you've got a rack, those transitions can be a little bit easier. We're gonna go snatch grip deadlift. So same as conventional uh, whip for your feet, but your hands are gonna come out here into a snatch grip and you're just gonna do a deadlift. Ooh. So it forces you to get a bit lower. So you might have to work a bit harder to get that back flat. So this is basically a deficit deadlift. And we're creating that deficit with the wider grip. Developing 
some Olympic lifting skills in these. Okay, we've got something called a push jerk next. So a push jerk means you're gonna drop back under the bar slightly. If you're struggling with that, just do a push press like we did in the warm up where you drive straight through. Let's get one more. Ooh. Although we're getting 30 seconds off, if you pick the weight that's right for you, it should still be pretty challenging. Next up, we've got a Romanian deadlift. So that's basically keeping your legs straight the whole time. I actually like to put a tiny bend in the knee, but you are keeping that knee angle fixed throughout the whole set. Hinge at the hip. So although I'm bending my knees slightly, I'm not changing that bend as I come lower. I'm keeping the bar super close to my body. I'm actually sliding down my quads, just clearing my knee, making brief contact with my shins squeezing the glutes through to get back to the top. All right, onto the third section now. I'm gonna go down to 35 kilos. That is uh, 77 pounds. I'm gonna have to be quick with this transition. Start things off with a strict press. So just a shoulder press overhead, but there's no assistance of your legs this time. Bar should start close to your collarbone, elbows underneath or in front. Next up, we've got a bent over row. But because we've already done the pendley row with an overhand grip, we're gonna change things up. We're gonna go to an, a reverse grip, an underhand grip. And this time we're gonna stay in that hovering position because it's a little bit lighter, so it'll be a bit easier on your lower back. I'm just gonna row it up to touch just above your belly button. Next up, we've got a front squat. If you struggle with front squats, and instead you just wanna grab a plate and do some plate front squats, that's fine. I don't mind whether you use a cross grip, classic front rack, or whatever you want. Whatever suits you for this front squat. It can be tricky on the mobility.
can even try a zombie squat if you want. It's gonna be a bit hard to get this bar down without a rack though. Right, next up, you're gonna bring the bar onto your back. You're gonna do some alternating reverse lunges. If you've got bad knees and you struggle with lunges, just do body weight reverse lunges instead. Just forget about the bar. Make sure that front knee isn't collapsing in. Get a nice depth on the back leg. Okay, we're gonna do single leg Romanian deadlift. Again, if you're struggling to do it with the barbell, you can just do it with your body weight instead. But if you can, let's have a go at doing it with a bar. We're gonna alternate sides. Little tip, you shift the center of the bar central to your quad over like that it'll stop you from being pulled as hard off to one side like i said if you're struggling with this then just do body weight instead all right final weight change i'm going to go down to my lightest weight i'm going to go down 25 kilos, which is 55 pounds for the Americans out there. One day you guys will convert to kilos and make my maths a bit easier, hopefully. Okay, so we've got our trickiest move now. We're gonna do a hang power snatch. So the hang just means it's coming from just the knee level, not the floor. The power part of that name means that you're not dropping into a full squat. So you can come just below knee level, drive up, and catch at the top like that. So set your upper back flat, Drive nice and close. Nice wide grip. Try and get the bar traveling up in a straight line. Always finish your rep. All right, onto an ab exercise now. We're gonna be on the floor. Got a sprinter crunch. Basically, we're gonna do a reaching crunch, and every time you do a reaching crunch, you're gonna tuck one knee in between your arms, and then you're gonna alternate legs. So you're gonna reach up, one knee comes in, you go back down, leg goes out. Reach up again, next knee comes in, back down, and repeat. One of my 
favorites next. Just got a bicep curl. Now we've got this nice light bar. We can go on to those lighter exercises. So just curling up nice and neat. No hip swinging. Great job, back onto the floor now. We're gonna do some leg raises, but we're gonna be holding onto the bar, staying in a slight reaching crunch position whilst we do the leg raises. Head and shoulders slightly off the floor. Don't let your lower back arch off in the bottom position. And don't bash your shins on the bar either. Okay. Just one left, we're gonna do the overhead march, the shoulder stability and core. We did this in the warm up, so it's the same again. Obviously we've got a bit of weight this time. Almost there, so stick with me, nearly complete. If you're enjoying working out with me and you fancy following more of a sets and reps plan, then check out my 12 week barbell ebook, which I'll link in the description of this video. It's got video demos for all the exercises, program periodization throughout, and I'm really proud of it. So do check that out in there. All right. That's a wrap, workout complete. Thanks so much for joining me. Let me know in the comments below, how did you find that workout? And also where in the world are you doing a workout from? I truly do enjoy to hear that. If you wanna have a little listen to some strength training talk, check out my podcast channel, which I'll link here. And if you want some more barbell workouts, try my seven day barbell series, which I'll link here. See you soon. Don't forget to like and subscribe.